I'm Tad's uncle. The name is Robert. And you are? Tad's not here. Okay. Well, I just came by to see if he wanted to get together tomorrow. And uh, I'm sorry, but I didn't catch your names. Well, we didn't actually throw them. <laughs> but I did say Tad's not here. I could pass on a message if that's okay. Anything else? No. Thanks. All righty then. So, what do you think? I don't know. You think this guy's lying? No. Um, Tad said he had an uncle that was in town, so... Well, maybe I should follow him, you know, check no, him out. No, 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 leave it alone, kid. I'll talk to Tad. You... Home. I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be fine. All right? Leave it alone. Go home, get some sleep. Get serious. All right? Go. Night. Night. It's on. Thanks, knows. Maybe not right now, but there was definitely somebody there at Mrs. Remington's. Are you okay? A little nervous. Listen, what was it like around here? Was it quiet? Well, until your Uncle Rob showed up. What? What does he think? You live here? Second time he came through. Jesse, what the hell did he want? He said he wanted to talk to you. Well, did he recognize you? I don't think so, but you know, you never know. Okay, okay. well, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's gonna turn into grand stuff all out here, but... It's definitely time for plan B, which means we gotta find you a safer place to stay until we know who's after you. Do you have any ideas? I've got an idea. Wherever that safer place is, you and Frankie cannot be there with me. Jesse. Angie, I'm serious. I don't want to make you and Frankie more of a target than I already have. Angela, I'm sorry, but he's right. It's way too dangerous, especially if there's actually somebody out there watching us. What? You need to get Crystal and the baby out of the house, too. I know, I'm way ahead of you. Well, I can't believe what I'm doing to your family here. Jesse, Tad. Jesse, look, I got a very big family. And you too, Frankie, you're definitely part of it, okay? So, don't worry. We are gonna do whatever we have to to keep everybody safe. So, what was it like meeting Remy's mom? She was a sweet lady. A little sad, though. I, I can relate. Oh, what do you mean? Well, you are, uh, Jesse. I used to see you around every corner in the beginning. I mean, I knew you were gone. I saw you die. And yet, I don't, I, I don't know, just something. You know, it's just so devastating. Losing that tiny flicker of hope. It's like an emptiness that I, I, I can't even describe. Except that I know I never want to go back there again. I'm so sorry. I'm so Hell is head. Why is it taking him so long? Oh, Jesse, calm down. I'm sorry, baby, but the idea of somebody watching you at that house is just bugging me out. Here, drink this. Ooh. 
What the hell is this? That's nasty. It tastes like tree. <laughs> Cynthia, I knew the risk that I was taking being with you. You made that perfectly clear. But as hard as this is, and as terrifying and dangerous as that I know that it must be, I'd rather be right here with you than anywhere else. Can you ever forgive me for putting you and Frankie through all this? There's nothing to forgive. Not the running, the hiding? For you, maybe. And the best thing of all is seeing Frankie with his daddy. I mean, he's a grown man, but you can still see it in his eyes. He adores you, Jesse. You're still his hero, and there is nothing that that boy wouldn't do for you. safe enough nowadays, can you? Robert Gardner, that's me. My brother is the rat bastard that's Tad's biological father and the reason that he hates the hell out of me. Now, you can run that through the FBI, CIA, Interpol, whatever. It'll check out. You want some? No, thanks. Yeah, yeah you're right. Saul will kill you. You can tell your colleague, that unfriendly guy that gave me the bonus rush, that I am no threat to the American way of life. I am just a guy who's trying to get to know his nephew. Mm. I'll tell him. You didn't drink that? No. Uh, you go ahead. I'm not much of a drinker. Really? Well... A couple of years from now, it just might grow on you. Skull. 